Yo, what's going on guys? It's Kojimo here back with another video. Today, I want to talk about how you can come back in your own matches because recently FaZe and Liquid played each other in the IEM Cologne tournament, one of the biggest events of the year outside of the major, and FaZe Clan came back from an 11 to 1 uh, lead that Liquid had and they won the game in overtime on map 3, one of the biggest moments they could possibly face and they didn't even look stressed while doing it. So today I'm going to explain to you the exact mentality that you need to have in order to make your own comebacks and be able to overcome any of the challenges that you face in your matchmaking games, pugs, or league matches slash tournaments events. But before we get into that, I do have to give you a message from the sponsor of today's video. The sponsor of today's video is Skin Place, a site where you can instantly and safely sell skins for real money. It really only takes seconds. To get started, you need to log in via Steam. Choose the skins that you want to sell. Next, choose a withdrawal method. Currently available are Visa and MasterCards, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Balance on site if you plan to withdraw money later. Enter your wallet number and do not forget to use my promo code KOJAMOCS for a 3% bonus on your first sale. When you have filled in the gaps, click receive money, Viola, the funds will arrive in your account soon. I left the link to skin place in the first comment, have some good sales. In order to make one of these comebacks, it all comes down to having the right mental and understanding what circumstances you are facing in the moment. So you are not always going to be able to come back from a giant lead like that. There's been so many games in my career where my team has the right mentality. We, we're, we're positive. We know what we're doing. We don't care that we're down, but we still end up failing, right? So the first thing that you need to do is let go. Let go of the result. Let go of what you think is going to happen and literally just start playing one round at a time, one situation at a time. The game becomes so much less scary. The game becomes a lot less important when you just literally play that round that is laying in front of you. So this mentality is great because it takes away a lot of the pressure of the moment. It doesn't matter if you're down 11 to 1 when you're just playing to win this round, right? And then you won that round. Okay, now we're just playing to win the next round. And then we're just playing to win the next round. And this actually is a mentality that you should just have in general, no matter if you're down or up, but it really helps you, especially when you're facing such a deficit in the rounds. So that is by far the biggest piece of advice that I could give you is literally just playing one round at a time. And when you have five players that can buy into that mentality and buy into playing the, the game like that, you will be shocked with what you can do. I remember my team personally in CSGO was down, I think 14 to four against evil geniuses uh in one of our matches right and this was a very important game for us we cared a lot it was map three of the series and we came down from 14 to 4 down we ended up winning the game 16 to 14 with uh 12 rounds in a row right anything is possible if you just play what is in front of you right and one thing i want you guys to understand too is that sometimes it's just the other team's game right Counter-Strike is so unbelievably complex and there is no right or necessarily wrong way to be playing the game. Um, there's there's so much going on. There's so many different moving parts that sometimes it's just the other team is having their day and sometimes it's just not your day. So you've got to understand that just because you are getting destroyed maybe in the first half of the game or for most of the game, that doesn't mean that that's how it's going to be the entire match, the entire series, the entire day that you're playing. And if it is, then it's just unlucky. It's just a bad day, right? But at the end of the day, what can we control? We can only control what is, you know, happening going forward. Too many players will never be able to make these impossible, crazy comebacks because what are they concerned about? They're concerned about, oh, dude, why did I peak that three rounds ago? Or, oh, dude, that guy hit a stupid shot on me. Why? Like, that's so dumb, right? Or, oh, bro, what, what, what was this guy thinking when he swung like that? When you spend so much time thinking about what the other team was doing to destroy you or you know to outplay you or maybe you think what they're doing was dumb then you're just gonna get in your own head and these comebacks are impossible because you're giving them too much respect then you're giving them too much headspace instead of proactively trying to problem solve and come up with a solution on how to actually win that round that's in front of you like we said earlier we're not trying to win the game we're trying to win the round and then when we win that win that round we win the next one and then the next one right and then you just play the game until the game's over right 
Uh, so too many players are worrying about the other team, and I'm guilty of this as well. I find that younger players do this especially. Uh, you know, it's just something that I think is ingrained in our brain. Like we're so competitive, we're so inexperienced, we're so young, and we just want to, dude, what is he doing? You know, why is he peaking like this? And you got to cope, and coping is bad, right? Coping like that is probably the worst thing that you can do because it also hurts your teammates. My advice to any of you guys is like, if you're ever trying to rage or yell or cope like that, do it off mic because again, this energy that you feed impacts and affects everybody else on the team, right? It doesn't just impact you, it impacts every single player that finds himself in the server with you. So if you are, you know, letting your teammates know that you're getting destroyed and the other team's dumb and all this stupid stuff is happening, it's literally just going to make them play worse. And that's obviously the last thing that we want to do. And another thing I see uh, people doing wrong, guys, is they start bringing their teammates down with them. If something happened in the round, they start raging about why their teammates doing this or like, you know, why are you not holding this? Why are you pushing here? Bro, you're throwing the game. Bro, you're doing this, right? Uh, both people that you don't know and also just people that are on your team or your friends and games and stuff. And let me tell you something. There is a time and place to communicate and kind of try to get on the same page with things like, hey man, like you shouldn't peek there because I want to play off of you in this way and come together to make a, like a, a plan going forward. But the problem is most people don't do that and instead it's just very destructive and they're like, you know, raging at them, like I said earlier, right? And what is that going to do? It's just going to make them play worse. It's going to make them more upset. It's going to make them more frustrated. And you're not going to be able to surmount that impossible comeback because we're too busy worried about what he said or what this guy said or why is he doing this or why so it doesn't just come from the other team it also comes from within when we start raging and getting mad about what specifically our offers doing why did our igl call this why is our uh site players just folding every round and guys like i'm so serious this is a problem that tier one pros struggle with there is some tier one pros that just rage and tilt their teammates because they can't help themselves because they just have to say something right and that's obviously the the last thing that we want to do but just understand that if you can master this part of the game and get this mentality down you will be ahead of so many other players you'll be ahead of everybody right because this game is so emotional when there's so many stakes on the line people just like get so into it right and at the end of the day it's just like if you let go if you realize that you know there's a bigger picture to all this right this isn't the last game of my counter-strike career this isn't the last round of my life and you let go and make the game less important you will play so much better right and let me leave you with one last piece of advice make sure to hit that subscribe button before uh we end the video if you watch this far i'd appreciate it so much so the last thing i want to uh give you the last piece of advice is guys for some of you out there that are you know higher rank or better at the game how do you play a game when you're, you know, queuing matchmaking against really bad players? You're probably just holding W and running around the map, just having fun and like destroying them, right? You're, you're, you don't care if you die. You're just running around trying to multi-frag, do all these crazy things. I'm not saying you're going to be able to do that in all of your games, but you're also able to do that because you don't care. It's just a matchmaking game to you, right? When I queue matchmaking, I don't care if I win or lose necessarily. I'm just trying to like have fun and multi-frag and see how far, you know, how many kills I can get. It, at the end of the day, I don't want you to be like a selfish teammate or a, a bad teammate like that. But understand that like if you just let go of the importance, like maybe keep it in the back of your head, like, okay, this, this is a big match. This is, you know, a big opportunity. Maybe a rank up game. Maybe you're playing at LAN. Maybe an online event where money's on the line. But just understand that like, hey, man, like, you know, let go of the importance and get loose. Like be able to play loose and, and make mistakes, make risks. At the end of the day, if you're not making mistakes, you're not pushing yourself uh, far enough you're not limit testing enough because you know at the end of the day it's impossible to play perfect cs so force the other team to make mistakes by playing your game never play the other team's game so you'll never make a comeback playing the other team's game i can promise you that so appreciate you guys so much for watching this video let me know what you thought down below give me some feedback i appreciate every single one of you you guys are the greatest of all times so go ahead and comment down below team usa kojo if you have watched it this far i'll catch you guys in the next video you guys all take care check out all the guides tips tricks on my channel and yeah see you guys later peace out peace out